It was election day as usual in the federal by-election held on Monday in New Westminster. We've uh, identified uh, our supporters and today it's just about getting, getting those supporters to the polls. Not everyone's aware that today's the actual voting day and just letting them know it's here, it's time to vote and the polls are open till 7. Well, I've been doing this for you know quite some time now. Uh, we knocked more than 20,000 doors. There was one thing missing though this election day, the Conservative candidate. Diana Dilworth ran what some called an invisible campaign. Her colleagues say she ran a different kind of campaign. I tell you, Diana has been so busy knocking on doors, she believes that one-on-one, -on -one, going to people's homes, talking to them face-to-face -face is the best way to engage the people here in her riding. But Dilworth made virtually no media appearances during her campaign and missed two all-candidates meetings. Her opponents aren't buying it. She isn't letting people know who she is, that they're only running off of the Conservative name and Stephen Harper's name. Unless, you know, media tells them, you know, what kind of questions to, to be asked, apparently they don't want to do it. In the end, the NDP did win the riding, but many were left wondering, where was Diana Dilworth? Jacob Barker in Coquitlam for BCIT Magazine.